Hello guys, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. This is Mike Steele, and this is, um, Nalbana Dungeons. So, without further ado, let us continue. Alright, so we are up to the Nalbana Dungeons. And in the Nalbana Dungeons, we won't be here for long, but... Be mindful to grab the treasure around the area before talking to Balthier or any, you know, you'll collect these things called, called knots of rust, and honestly, between me and you, they fucking suck, but they do not suck for the upcoming fight, but only in this case scenario. See, knots of rust do damage based off of your HP. It doesn't really do much damage. It's it's, it's very weak. Um, there'll be other items as well, like meteorites, and um, I think it's four random items that you can get. That's a like a meteorite, A, B, or C, or D. So you get four different types of meteorites, and then there's something called a knot of rust, which deals physical type damage to one target. Influenced by the user's maximum HP. But, that being said, it still does damage. You're looking at like 30 to 40 damage right now. Yeah, because you got like 400 HP. So you'll probably do like around 30 to 40 damage. So it's something like that. But, for the most part, it's kind of shitty. But, we are going to be fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat in which we will be going up against three pigs in a pen and um, I, I guess you know alternatively if you don't have magic like I say if you don't have any magic like for example he's a Shikari and also notice I am unarmed and you're probably wondering where is all my shit it's in the compass cut Confisc confiscatory confiscatory yeah the confiscatory but I'll talk more about that after right now all your stuff's been confiscated obviously so I'll have to go pick it up in the confiscation room the confiscatory didn't know that was a word but apparently it is confiscatory the confiscatory confiscator anyway so that being said you will be unarmed, but if you chose, like, um, I don't know, a mage for a class, I don't recommend it, but if you did, then sling some fire magic or whatever, you know? Because I'm sure you'll have fire if you have a black mage. If not, knots of rust, man. Knots of rust. So just look around. You can talk to these people to get a little idea of what the fuck's going on. A lot of them seem to be, uh, you know, low lives. And unbeknownst as to why this man has, like, a goddamn fucking bolt around his neck, I do not know. He looks like, like a robot man. What is the deal with that? Huh, he says the man, oh, oh yeah, that's because he's the infamous Balthier. Those reptiles are looking for him. Uh-huh. I think we get that. We get the idea. That Vaughn has gotten himself mixed in with some... Um... Infamous people, I should say. Some notorious people. At least he's dressed normal. These lizard men, they're called Bangas. So... We'll be dealing with them much, but... Again, we will be dealing with them shortly. Okay, so he thinks there's no hope of escaping. Let's talk to him. Huh. <laughs> no, Vaughn's not bright. Oh, of course they don't need a reason. It's just like the cops. You know, they just throw you in jail. If they feel like it, they do it. That's how it is out here in New York. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Most of these people are all dregs or people who have been unjustly 
and justifiably thrown down here but basically everybody here is all fucked up so that's basically what you want to know if, if you want it to be summed up all the people here all fucked up and they don't even have names they're just like numbers ooh that surely tart cuz I'm bonga I'm a bonga what's this lad up to does he have oh look he's got He's got nuts and bolts on him. My friend and me were just going to the cathedral to pray for Lady Ash and Lord Wrestler when someone period has arrested us. Said we were part of some royalist movement. Can you believe it? They had no proof at all. And my friend... <sighs> your friend what? Pissed his pants? Or is this your friend on the floor? He died, didn't he? I bet he did. Ooh, I likey. Hmm, a room back there's the chorus pile. Oh, okay. Oh, I like that room. Yeah, well, I don't plan on dying anytime soon. So again, you could talk to all these dregs, but they got not much to offer. Before we talk to Bob the Air, though, just gonna do a quick scan. I only have, what, I think like three knots of rust, which is fine. I mean, the hand-to-hand -hand combat isn't all that hard. It's not as hard as you think it is. <laughs> and, uh, well, yeah, so. But I don't want to miss the opportunity to miss out on Knots of Rust. Oh my, what would I do if I missed out on the Knots of Rust? Oh, goodness. And all these derelicts and, I don't know, hooples, basically. <gasps> oh! And a knot of rust. So that gives us four solid knots of rust. Or well, nuts of rust. And a lot of dead bodies around too. Oddly enough, they'll never show a human dead body. Only serps. I mean, seeks. Like a serps. Alright, looks like we could talk to the Balthier man himself now. Now, we're gonna go fight three seeks. Which is a different... They're bongas, those lizard people, but the pig people, they're very uneducated. To say the least, they act like what they look like. Pigs. And looks as though their belongings were carted off by the Imperialist. In which is why, in this fight particularly, the most useful item in the game becomes one of the most useful. The Knot of Rust. Alright, so we talked to him. You don't have to, but you might as well, right? Doesn't hurt. Okay, now, now's your chance to save. Might want to save on a separate file, might not. I don't know. That's up to you. Me, my friend, I'm not even going to save. I'm just simply going to heal. And then move forward. And then get, you know get confronted by three pigs in, in suits. Well, t three pigs draped in hides. Hamshanks is the proper word, as Balthia would say. But Vaughn, being a bright young street tier, as he claims to be, because he's surely not an, you know, an idiot walking moron who just roams the streets, but that's what I think he is, actually. <laughs> His only attempt at getting back from the palace, and look what he got himself into. Unbelievable. Vaughn, you are a mess, man. But at least you got what was yours in the end, eh? Oh, Jesus. They're beating the living daylight out of that blizzard. Oh, why? Now they got our attention. I mean, now we got their attention. He was defenseless. What are you saying? I can't understand these people. These piglets have hard times talking to the Sikhs, they call them. The lizards, they're bangas, and they're actually pretty intelligent. You know, considering they're kind of equivalent to the Humes. But the Sikhs, oh boy. 
Sikhs are like fucking disgusting. You can hear them growling. <laughs> See? Don't worry, you're not missing anything. Something stinks in here, alright? I've changed oh. my mind. This is no dungeon, it's a sty. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, so this is sort of a boss fight. The one that stinks, mm -hmm. Hear me now? I love that line. I'll never forget it. It's a, it's one of those one liners. You alright, Vaughn? Alright, so now we gotta take down these three piggies. Like the three piggies in the uh, wolf story, you know? Except we play the wolf. Alright, so hand to hand combat. We're gonna wanna take out Galito. Well, actually, you know what? Try to steal first. If you can. I mean, shouldn't have too hard of time stealing. Let's we'll go after Galito. Stealing might be good. I would love to steal. That'd be awesome. Got a dark moat. Very nice. Okay, so Gwitch, we stole from Gwitch, let's steal from Galito. And then we'll end, we'll, um, so, okay, so you got Gwitch, Galito, and Daguza. Now, basically you want to take out Galito and Gwitch first. And thus only because Daguza is the strongest and has protect casted on him, so two reasons for that and then also he's just a nuisance and he'll be even more of a nuisance with Gwitch and Galito in the picture so taking out the Guzo last only makes the most sense again if you have any mate if you have a mage right now now is the time to use magic because your technics and your gambits they're all good magics all that shit anyway let's steal from Galito and five gil from Galito. Okay, so Dark Moat is good. The Goose is gonna be the hard one to get. So let's go over to Baldir. I'll steal from Daguza and I'm gonna start taking down Glitch. I would imagine. Let me just uh, do something real quick here. I'm gonna do party leader's target. And we're gonna change that gambit. I'll make that a healing gambit. Oh, I ran out of it. That's not cool. How come I have no more? Well, I'll use first aid then. Unfortunately, I have no more potions. Must have wasted them earlier. See, I told you, potions go quick. Alright, we could take him out. Now, let me demonstrate the knot of rust. A knot of rust. Just did 69 damage. That's pretty good. And only at this time would the Knot of Rust actually be effective. Because in normal circumstances it wouldn't. And it, it could also be uh, used from a distance as well. Knot of Rust. Goodbye, Galito. Goodbye. Now we work on stealing from Gal the Guza. Because we know he's got something. I'm not exactly sure what he has. But... Ah, uh, he's only got a potion. The dark moat was the best thing I got here so far. Anyway. Yeah, I figured you were gonna do that. Wasteless. And one more knot of rust. Just to take it down a notch. And you're dead. There we go. Not too bad. And now, enjoy the event to follow. This pertains to 
the um, uh, the bonga that are after Balthier. And you'll be introduced to the Judge Magisters. One of the main antagonists, to say the least. You're Darth Vader, I guess, in this game. He's sort of like the Darth Vader of, you know, Final Fantasy. Because this game is a lot like Star Wars. Not on purpose, but accidentally, actually. It ended up becoming a lot like, they said, A New Hope. Star Wars A New Hope, Episode 4, I think. Great. They just don't give up, do they? That's what 12 ended up becoming. <laughs> These fucking savages. Now is looking like a good time for us to leave. Hmm. Up there's a rabbit. Uh, through the oubliette, she says. Through the oubliette, there's a Whatever way out. That means. Only... Only you sense the mist. That's right. It burns. The mist seethes. Then we need weapons. To the confiscatory. What did you call me? Say that again. What? Judge the boss. I merely said that a lot of you are incompetent fools. I haven't even if seen this guy fighting in your hands. Where is he? You'd have done better, Bagamnin. <laughs> Bagamnin. By your own words, it was the Imperial Army who caught this Sky Pirate of yours. We've done your job for you. We don't require the assistance of filthy head hunters. The head Empire hunters. will restore order here. The Empire will restore order here. Yeah. Well, as as you you say now. now. Maybe, Maybe I'll I make my blade on you before I, before I kill Balthia. That's enough, Bagamnin. <laughs> Now, here we go. It's pretty evident that this is Darth Vader. I mean, come on. A judge. Judge? The main judge. The <laughs> guardians of law and it's just so obvious. Arcadia. They're the elite guard of House Solidor, which effectively makes them the commanders of the Imperial Army. Yeeks! If you ask me, they're more executioners than judges. They're not... They're not magisters! Not at any rate. What are they doing here? Uh, I think we're gonna find out sooner than we the know. The look race for his more talented servants. However, those that do not show respect will receive none in kind. Please John. tell me. We travel freely through our lands because the emperor wills it. He is totally Am like I a Darth Vader. <laughs> Darth Vader. But before me ever realizing, we have solitary, Your Honor. We're ready Ooh. to begin our interrogation. Let's watch this. This like does this. not concern you, bounty hunter. Uh, he's in here somewhere. Find him. Watch it. That way. Uh, All right. So there's a lot of shit going down. Time for the hair to follow the fox. <laughs> the magic's binding the door to the Obliate are quite strong. Too strong even for my talents. Really? That's why we'll get them to open it for us. Unwittingly, I How's guess. Going into this What's place wrong? Go? You don't trust her. Fiera's nose is a sharp. If she says there's a way out, there's a way out. You could out. just tell. Look at her nose. It's sharp, all right. Okay, so the confiscatory. The confiscatory is here. Our stuff. Relics. Look. Ah, the prison repository relics of rested and relics and raiments. So, our things are in here? That's what I said. That's what he said, so. He's just a man of, uh, you know, high class. A man of flavor. Ah, so, now we got our items and we got our equipment back. We're back. We're up and running again. Just like a barbershop. But before we go, there are two, uh, like three treasure chests that we may want to snag. One, an Orachia armlet. Number two, ooh, almost 500 gil in there. And three, up oh, the tourmaline ring. That's nice. 
The tourmaline ring. Okay, so that now. I would honestly give this to. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna learn. Uh, la, 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 la. I think Inquisitor is pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Inquisitor is nice. Decisions, right? Gotta make sure you make them decisions, but don't fuck up. But she uses magic. She slings it, so... And swiftness is great for an archer. So the tourmaline ring... Tourmaline. The tourmaline ring is going on to... Up. Oh, it's accessories five. Well, what I wouldn't do for a tourmaline ring. Huh. I don't know why it'd be all the way down there, though. Eh. Yeah. I would get this, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Boom. Libra and the Gamison. Libra's always good to have. We don't need that. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba bum bum We got a potion lore here, I see. Poach, no. Yeah, potion lore too would be helpful as well. Okay, but I still think Libra would be the way to go right now. You know what? Libra and a gambit slot. That's the way to do it. I feel that it, that would be the most efficient. Oh, would you look at that? Right there. Unbelievable. Alright. And of course, grab this gambit slot because what the hell, right? Might as well. She's got 22 left. She gets the tourmaline ring also, huh? Alright. Well, let's hold off for now. I got this uh, stuffy nose again. Yeah, we definitely gotta get some better equipment because this shit sucks. And I'd love to use the tourmaline ring, but not now. And the goddess is madnessite. Well, right now I can't see a reason as to why I wouldn't use that, you know? It's raising my HP. Uh, no, I mean, it's not raising my HP, but, I mean, damn, my magic resist is high as fuck. Look at everybody else. It's 7, 6, is 18. That's pretty high. Alright, let's get going. Let's get the hell out of here. You could save if you want. But let's just keep on going. And now, for the next part, we're gonna be, um,. Was that was actually 14 infantry, Imperial infantry here. All different types, but we'll still actually, they're different types of Imperials, but they will still give a chain. As long as they're an Imperial or in the same classification, you will get a chain. Like hyenas and wolves, same, same class of enemy. So a total of 14 fucking dickheads in here. Metalled dickheads. There are more turnkeys than cut purses down here. Ha <laughs> <laughs> my fill of chains. Let's tread lightly, shall we? Okie dokie. Alright, so... Tread lightly, tread however you want. But there are many Imperials here. And um, we're gonna have to... You know, do something about that. So, I put up Libra and get to work. Gambits. Oh, that's right. I can set new gambits up. There's not much I can really set up right now, though. Except for potions. 
Oh wow, I'm an idiot. I said earlier that I ran out of potions. I'm so stupid. I knew all my stuff got confiscated. I wasn't thinking. Anyway. Uh, la 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 la. We'll do ally HP 50. This actually, nah. I don't want. I don't want him healing right now. I don't need him healing. I just. I, I need a. Uh, what do you call it? I mean, I definitely Phoenix Downs are good. You know, need somebody to revive the fallen, right? And uh, la 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 la. Eye drops. Always useful. Go to Ally Annie for that one too. It should always come up top. And of course we have huh antidote. Uh, to me that seems pretty good. It's very um, generic and it works. Perfect. Yeah, that works out. Works out with me. Good to go. Alright. We're set. Now you'll see how the gun works in just a second. The gun takes a while, but it hits a blast. Oh, three hits, I see. Now, I'm gonna actually steal from him as well. He's like mainly just potions and stuff, but doesn't mean it's bad. Okay. Now, that's another thing. The chests here are kind of different than the ones we've seen in the past, so these chests sort of blend in and they can sometimes you know, you can miss them, so try not to, try to keep your eyes open. That was a terrible chest. Irony. Because that chest was just like a total fucking joke. Had to have been a total joke. Oh, another, another one, okay. Fire on Imperial Hotline, I guess. And Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna steal from this hoplite if I can. Probably won't be able to. But still still fetch a potion. Now there are a total of fourteen in here, so maybe we kill three. Could open the map up. Because you will trigger an event eventually that'll shut this area down. In which you will not be able to come back to, so take advantage while you're here. Steal. Yeah. Alright. Screw stealing. You're dead. You're a dead man, Woken Pal. And see, got a six chain so far. And let's be sure to get the items because, like I said, the chests here could be hard to see. So, yeah. But I think I see a. Oh! Up, oh, it's a hoplite. And we're pulling aggro from many directions right now. Yeah. So, we're gonna need a little assistance with uh, some. getting rid of this fucker. Oh, very nice. 
Ren, use fire on an Imperial hotline. Yeah. Have. Yeah, we'll do that. Steal. Want to continue to try and steal? Oh, and then I got an antidote. How nice. Dead. Getting somewhere. Knock his head down. All right, good enough. So we keep on moving. Oh, there's a chest right here. And later on, well, not actually, not too far, but in a little while, these chests are actually gonna sort of pop up into like these things called mimics which are like bugs and they are fucking bastards because they look like chests but they are not chests they are in fact disgusting monsters well bugs insects gigantic insect monster disgustingness disguised as a chest in which, you know, the chest already looks like shit. I mean, you could tell that chest looks like it's some sort of sleeping cocoon or something. That's what it looks like. A cocoon. Well, anyway. Let the cocoon reside. Reside where it'll be. Okay. Okay. I'm going to enjoy. I think I gotta go this way. It's like a maze, this place, huh? Ah, a potion. How genuine. Keep fearing I'm gonna lose or miss something along the way. But what could I possibly lose? But there are actually a lot of treasure chests coming up. You see, that shit had nothing in it. Nothing of value. Gonna walk around. Quicker. Alright, so we just gotta get over to this side now. And we'll be in good shape. Yes, we will. We gotta get over to the other side. Okay, this room's clear. Clear. Then, of course, we gotta go up this way. Because... If we go to that middle section over there, up there, the tippy top there, we'll screw ourselves. We don't get jacked out of this area, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh? Well, that's not too fair. Well, who said life is fair? Okay, and who is that? Some unknown archer. Okay. But I definitely want your goods, so give them to me. I couldn't steal. Oh well. Get it from the next schmuck I could manage to steal from. Fire! Steal away, my good friend. Steal away. We've got a potion. Wonderful. 
He got a level up as well. That's great. Up, oh, this is the last one, by the way. So, not much of a chain, but but at least he got. See, a chain. We actually got one silver. Eventually, they get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger if you continue to keep hitting the same types of enemies. Like in this instance, it would be obviously Imperial soldiers. Oh, one more chest, I see. But, as usual, it's got shit in it. Okay, let's see where we are going. We gotta go to this little middle area here. And then you'll hear them chanting in, like, you know, in Arabic. Jalaba. Chanting away. Open the door. That's exactly what he's going to do. I don't know what that. Ooh. Oh, pretty impressive. Alamu, hejalamu. Hoo-hoo. What the fuck is that made out of? It's like a bunch of like, I don't know, worms or weeds. Or a worm weed or something like that. I don't know. It sounded gooey though. It's horrible, you know? It sounds gooey. It sounded like a gooey weed. Do you have such a thing? Is it goop? Is it goo? I don't know. What I do know is that we have to go through this magic doorway that was unlocked though. We do have to go through here. Are we ready? Because I'm ready. Alright, so, just to let you know, we're going to be falling down a lot deeper than we ever thought we would. We, you know, we thought this was deep enough. Well, we're going further down. So, don't think about getting out anytime soon. Um, let's see, just a quick check. Good, 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 good. Yeah, all good. But I just want to get that one swiftness. Just get that out of the way. Get a little quicker going on, you know? Get that. Get the steam rolling. Eeyaw. Eeyaw. Don't need it. Don't need it. Alright, I'm going to hold on to that. Okie doke. So, let's, uh, let's go. Should be an interesting confrontation now. The story starts to unravel. Up. Oh. So he does have a much. twin. And that's the twin. Okay. Less than a shadow. Less than a man. Sentenced to death, and yet you live? Why? To silence Hondor. How many times must I say it? Huh? Is that all? Uh? Why not ask Vane himself? Is he not one of your masters? <sighs> We've caught a leader of the insurgents. She's being brought from Rabinasta. They're the woman, using Amalia. him. Who could that be? <sighs> Such a faithful hound to cling so to a fallen kingdom. If that's Burn his brother, he's a scumbag. Away. Throwing it away, as you threw away our homeland. Yep, that's right. We both kind of, I don't know, left this place called Landis. And now they're both angry at each other. One went to the Arcadia the and the other went to Damascus. The mist is flowing Damascus. through this room. It must be going somewhere. Hmm. You. You're no Imperials. Please, you must get me out. It's against my policy to speak with a dead. Bob freaked Especially out. Especially when they happen to be Kingslayers. I did not kill him. Is that so? Huh. <laughs> Glad to hear it. <laughs> Please, get me out. <laughs> For the sake of Delmasca. He freaked out. He's an idiot. Delmasca? He's an idiot. What do you care about Delmasca? 
Everything that's happened is because of He's you. Such a child. Everyone that's died. Every single one. <laughs> What? Even my brother. Really? Oh my god. You killed my brother. Quiet. The guns were here. What are you doing, Vaughn? You're an idiot, man. I'm dropping it. Good idea. This kid is so retarded, like. A sky. Yeah, right? God, have your hands full with that fucking kid. Vaughn. The loser boy. Loser. Loser, 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 loser. He's a loser boy. Mm, I just look at him as the guy who's along for the ride. That's exactly what he is. <laughs> Spare us your quiddities. Yeah, but but he's a your a traitor. I know. Stay here and fight if you want. If you can walk, <laughs> let's go. You're taking him with us. You use a sword arm. And you have it. And you have it. Very well. Okay, so Bosch. He's joining the party as a guest member. Well, as you guessed it, he is a part of the party. But, well, a member of the party. It just sounds better than a part of the party, but nonetheless, he is not exactly a part of the party. He's only a mere guest member of the party. So, he's a guest. A guest. Which means we will have no time of him taking any orders anytime soon. Or, simply put, he won't be taking orders anytime soon. Or, don't expect him to be taking orders anytime soon. You dig? Alright. Gooch. Let's keep it moving, and before we do... Let's do a little bit of... Searching in this little alcove right here. Which is basically right... Right to the left, as soon as you walk down. Left? No, right. Right. You can get a lot of money, and you're gonna need it. Well, you'll probably need it. Now, I'm really hoping that. Oh, wait. Let's do a four chests. Eh, whatever. We got a lot. Of, we got a lot in that one chest, so. Okay. Well, there's a switch. We'll have to deal with that in a little bit. The save crystal. Okay, so... So this area is a whole, um... It's a big place. And there'll be a pretty big foe at the end as well. Um... To say the least, it's gonna be a lot about light control and killing enemies within the time period things called mimics which feed off the light and if the light goes below 50 percent it's bad basically zombies are all over the place and you'll get overswarmed and killed in no time and there's also this really cool bonga dude who sells burrow he sells, which I'm hoping he sells gambits as well, because, you know, I was reading in the guide and stuff, and they're talking about, like, certain gambits to set up for bosses, and I'm like, but you don't even have those yet. Like, the gambit shop wasn't even open. It doesn't open until you get back. Because it was closed before I left. For the palace. It was, it was fucking closed. They were not open for sale, for business. So all these different gambits they're talking about oh, to set up aren't even available unless he sells them. If he does, that's different. And he does, thank god. Alright. I recommend... Well, by a long shot I recommend... Ah, uh, wow. Okay, so... 
target bow, lowest max HP. That's definitely on a recommendation list. Bow. Mm. Bow. Um. Well. Oh yeah, bow HP 100%. I recommend getting that. No, 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 no. Oh, self. Very important. And then uh, I mean, huh. ally each uh, target any ally with less than 100% HP. And my general consensus is to get what you need first, then get all the rest. So. You have self, so you might want to get like self HP, 100, less than that, 60, oh, and of course with this, I also go target any foe with 70% or more HP, and then 50% or more HP. <clears throat> Okay, so bow highest max HP. And yeah, sure, we could do that. And then you could do foe targeting self or targeting leader. It's up to you what you want to do with that. In general, it's good to have a broad range of gambits because you can, you know, they're very useful, you know, and integral. And you'll really never know what kind of gambit you're going to need in a specific situation. So, in general, it's just good to try to buy all of them. They're not much money. They're only like, especially these ones. These are early game, you know, gambits. They're only 50 a piece. So I'm just going to go ahead and purchase every single gambit. Because, I mean, it's the first time we've had any gambit, so... Let's take advantage of buying some gambits. And there are so many gambits in this game that... Um, I couldn't list every single one. I'm not sure how many exactly there are. But there's quite a few. There's a lot of different types of gambits. Um, I think all well, the three actually: self, foe, and ally. And then there's different categories within that. Like there's ally status, foe status, self status. But again, there's three different types: foe, ally, and self. Integral to get a little bit of everything. Okay, let's see what we got here. Onion bombs, we do not need those. An Argyle armlet and a bangle. I gotta get the bangle. And equip the bangle to... Yeah, to her. The archer. I can't believe Libra is cheaper than first aid. First aid sucks. Aha, perfect. Now we can get it. We can get. Well, apparently we can get Thunder, but we can't get Blizzard. That's a shame. What a shame. I wonder why you can't get Blizzard. I said Thunder was like, you know, a top notch spell, but. I guess I was wrong. Uh, dark. That's good, but I'm not gonna be using it anytime soon. But let's get some stuff that I will be using, though. I mean, you can get all this stuff now, but to be honest, like the Argyle Armlet, I'm gonna pick it up. Because it's good to have. I'm not gonna get any of that stuff. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We got Technics, Vox, and Poisona. Eh, even immobilized, I'm not gonna get it yet. 
No need to. I don't even have a time mage right now. And uh, again, I don't really need that. Poisona? And, okay, maybe those two, but that's it. I really have to um, be more concerned about the mage masher. And, uh, what do you call it? The, um... Oh, no. Oh, there it is, Capella. Acapella, acapella, the acapella, acapella. Acapella. Okay, we have an iron sword, but nobody can use it, so let's sell it away. We don't need that. Headgear. Um... What the hell? Pointy hat. Jeez. Got a lot of outdated crap, huh? Could sell one of those headgears, too. Uh, leather helm. Get rid of that. We don't need it. Eh. Uh, yeah, so one of those, because I don't need that many of them. And now, for the fun. So, basically you sell your loot, and certain combinations you will be able to make like different types of, you know, something is integral actually, you know, like some things are really, really cool. You know, not only are you getting discounts, but you're getting really cool items as well. Only through certain combinations of selling these items. So, for example, uh, to get, like, um, let's see, to get, I'm trying to give a good example, uh, I think I have one too. Yeah, okay, for an example would be good here. Okay, so, Silent Shot. In order to get that, you would have to sell two fish scales, one vial of green liquid, three dark stones to the bazaar, and that will create an item in the bazaar called the Silent Shot. Same thing with the Aqua Shot. A Yenta scale, three vials of green liquid, Four water stones. So basically, a combination of items, usually three different items, will create a um, an item in the bazaar. That usually is a pretty good deal, and/or has something exclusive. Now you, you're not going to be able to micromanage every single thing you're selling, so just go ahead and sell what you have. And if you do have your eyes set on something, look it up online to see exactly how you make it. And keep your eyes out for those, you know, different types of loot that you need. Okay, horn, demon eyeballs. Got seven of those. A glass jewel, dark stone. All right, great. Well, I'm not surprised about that. Eye drop set, okay. All right, now, before I wrap this video up, you may wanna, you know, obviously buy the things you need, like, I mean, I'm getting the Capella. I'm gonna need that. And the uh, da -da 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 uh for me I guess it would be Oh uh, silver bow. Clip it in the I don't know why they make me do that, but And as far as I go, I'm good to go. I just gotta get new a lot of new leather. Light armor. Yeah, important. Equip. They all use light, so yep. That's what they're getting. Upgrades on everything. Upgrade from Altheer. Upgrade. 
And this may empty out my pockets for a bit, but it's no big deal. A leather shield. A buckler. And I think I want to get a buckler. I'm not 100%. I'm thinking I do, though. Don't I? I'm not 100% on that. Hmm. You know, if they did have something like, you know, the round, the round shield, or like, the bronze shield, that would be good, because... I believe he only gets shields too? For Vaughn, so I don't think any of these will help the buckler or the leather shield because the buckler I think is is again in shields one I'm pretty sure yep both shields one the buckler and the leather shield and I don't have anybody who could use that so therefore unfortunately we can't really well I can't if you can go right ahead be my guest but I can't if you need it, buy it. If not, move on. Move along. Okay, and of course, last but not least, items. You know, enemies in this game love slinging status effects, so just be ready to have what you need. And I always say 25 is a good number to have. So they could make an exception in this game for the potion wise because shit there are a lot of you know a lot of potions need to be used no lie you know what because I have so much money left over I'll get immobilized it'll be useful later boom Nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, great. So, we're in good shape then. Can sell these. Don't need them anymore. Definitely don't need that. Do not need this. No don't need any of those. So, this is your time to get rid of all your crap. That you don't really need. The Argyle Armlet. Might be a good idea to have two of those. So that's what I'm gonna do. Because accessories not only give you um, special effects, but they also boost certain type of attributes. You know, all depending on what kind of um, accessory it is. Alright, so I'm gonna cut my video. Now I'll end my playthrough here and we will start up again in my next uh, walkthrough which will be covering pretty much the um, I guess you call it the Barheem Passage because this place is pretty 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 big it's a pretty big place and there's a lot to do here not as many cutscenes as there was before, but this time around we'll be doing a lot more action, you know, puzzles, running around, um, all that stuff. Basically, yeah, so I'm going to be covering mainly Nabana, I mean, god damn it, Barheem Passage. The Barheem Passage will be covered in my next video, so... Till then, keep it gaming, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy my commentary. If not, well, uh, then I guess don't watch my fucking shit. But if you do, keep on watching. And again, like I always say, keep it gaming, guys. Keep it gaming and just keep it gaming. Keep it gaming, yo. Keep it gaming. Keep it gaming. Keep it gaming. <laughs>